Hello everyone, my name is Arnella Custodio and welcome to another in motion hosting video tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a video that compares four different 2FA plugins. They start with the Mini Orange Google Authenticator, WP2FA by White Security, the WordFence Login Security plugin, and two factor authentication from the authors of Updraft Plus. We're going to be comparing these plugins based on a few different criteria. And basically, we're going to start off with its setup process. Then we're going to look at its features. And then finally, we're also going to look at its security effectiveness. So let's take a look at these plugins and see what happens when you first install them. So looking at these plugins, we're going to start off with the mini orange Google Authenticator. And uh, just to be sure that you understand that there are two different versions, you can see here in the plugins list that when I type in a search for 2FA, I'm seeing Mini Orange's Google Authenticator and also another Mini Orange plugin called Two Factor Authentication. Both of them are Two Factor Authentication plugins, but the one we're using is Google Authenticator. And you can tell that this has been here a little longer as it has 20,000 active installations versus 800 plus for the other one. And also, this is up to version 5.6. So we're installing this one right now. I'm going to hit Install, and then Activate it. Now, as soon as the uh, activation of the plugin is done, you can see that it brings you straight to a wizard for setup. The wizard just guides you through the setup. It makes it a lot easier for anyone who's not used to setting up 2FA. So here we're going to look at the WP2FA two-factor authentication plugin for WordPress by White Security. I'm going to click on Install now. And then we're going to activate this. And this is a fresh WordPress installation. So as soon as you finish the installation and activation of the plugin on a fresh WordPress installation, you'll see that it brings you to the wizard screen for WP2FA. And just like Mini Orange, this particular wizard just helps you walk through the installation for 2FA for your WordPress site. You can skip the wizard if you already know how to set up 2FA or you can just walk through it. And this is a pretty handy thing to have. So we're gonna look at the installation for the other two plugins, uh, for two uh, WordFence login security. This is already installed on this particular um, WordPress site. And the the login here, when you, when you set it up for this one, it's a little different as it asks you to set up your users and also, in some cases, it also tries to get you to go ahead and set up a policy that applies to all of your users for 2FA settings. So, for an example, policy, you may say that all editors are required to use 2FA or all admins are required to use 2FA. And another thing you might add for your policy is that you're required to configure it after you immediately log in. Or you might have a grace period and say, hey, you have five days to install your 2FA. So that is an example of installation policies that you could set up that apply either to specific users or roles, and also they go across the board. You can make separate policies for some of these other plugins. In some cases, like WordFence, Login Security, you're setting it all up for the admin first, and then you start setting it up for the other roles. And it's a pretty straightforward installation for two-factor authentication, but there is no guide. So you do need to pay close attention to the instructions on what you're setting up. The two-factor authentication settings for um, the Updraft Plus authors who, who decided who created this plugin, if you look at it here, you can see that there is a two-factor authentication page just for setting up the user, which is right here in the, in the back end. And there's also a settings page here in the settings area for WordPress. And you can see that these are called the admin settings. And just like the others, you're setting up kind of what's called a policy. And in um, most cases, when you're setting up these free versions, you're not able to make uh, multiple policies that affect different users or different conditions. So you're basic, you're you're making one policy that applies to everyone. Now the one thing about two-factor authentication is that 
Um, this particular version does not allow you to make 2FA compulsory when you install it. So you have to upgrade to the premium version in order to have that option. So in looking at the setups for these four different plugins, we can see that there is definitely a difference in the two. And then on the right hand side of this particular graphic, you can see that two of them start with wizards and the other two do not. And the other thing too to understand about them is that they try to be very straightforward with how to set it up and, and immediately setting up a policy. Um, if you try to avoid the wizard, like for the mini orange, it still does force you to set up two-factor authentication right away. Um, the other ones don't necessarily do that. They let you set it up at your leisure. If I were to rank these four plugins based on the setup, this is how I would do it. So the next comparison and comparing these four different plugins is to take a quick look at the features. And really for at least the WP2FA plugin and also the Mini Orange, which is what we're on right now in terms of the settings screen, they have quite a few options. But uh, we're just gonna take a brief look. And you can see that the Mini Orange two-factor authentication plugin has quite a few things that you can do with its premium plan. So there's here you can see that they show you the hardware token for multi-factor authentication email over SMS and email using an Authy authenticator or even using WhatsApp. And they also have premium features listed as a tab here. And there you can see all the other options that they include as well as add-ons. So the, uh, the mini orange two-factor authentication plugin is uh, pretty full featured, especially if you, if you buy the premium version of it. Um, in terms of what it has for the free version, you can see that it still has quite a bit of features that aren't available on the other plugins, especially the support for the multiple custom logins and also the support for multiple authentication devices that you can use, or multiple authenticators, I should say. So there are quite a few things that you can do with the Mini Orange Google Authenticator. Let's take a look at WP2FA. Now WP2FA, uh, like the uh, Mini Orange, has a lot of options that you can uh, use if you purchase the premium version. But again, for the free version, which is what we're using this, or how we're judging these four different plugins, you can actually see that here this is saying using TOTP or HTTP, which pretty much all of these do, except for WordFence that uses only TOTP. This allows people to select their email address of choice, which isn't necessarily always the safest thing, but um, you have the options to enforce, which is normal, exclude users, which is also a normal feature, uh, the grace period. The redirect feature is actually a pretty good feature which isn't often seen on the other plugins. And then there's also the option to allow users to disable 2FA on their profile. Now, this is kind of goes against, you know, making the login secure if people refuse to use it. So it's up to you, but you can always remove this so people cannot remove it. In terms of the uh, upgraded, you can see on the right-hand side here that they have a, a quick list of this. And then you also can click on this and see that they have a 14 day trial for using their premium version. Premium features are also listed in the menu and you can see a list here. All right, so let's go look at WordFence and WordFence um, is pretty much a bare bones kind of thing, but there are features that are very useful on this particular plugin. And uh, as it says right here, if you really want a lot more functionality then you would go with the full WordFence plugin for their security set. But um, if you look at these settings here, you can see the normal things for the setting up user roles and users, a grace period. This is also very uh, handy in terms of allowing remembering a device for 30 days. Um, this feature is often more a premium feature on the other plugins. They also include XML RPC authentication. 
let's say you have a tablet that you're using to authenticate to your WordPress site and it uses XML RPC, uh, this would force it to use 2FA to log in. There's also options here for CAPTCHA, uh, specific IP addresses, options here for WooCommerce integration, and deleting the login security tables and data on deactivation. There are a lot of nice features for this particular two-factor authentication plugin. All right, so um, let's look at the last plugin of the four for features. And this is the two-factor authentication uh, plugin from the authors of Updraft Plus. And if you look at these here, you can see when you get on the installation and you're looking at the settings, the first thing they bring you to is the setup page. And here you're automatically setting it up to determine what roles are gonna be able to use two-factor authentication. And then they tell you that it's not compulsory and the trusted devices are also something that you need to have um, upgraded the plugin to premium in order to use. And then they also include XML RPC, just like WordFence. And here you can also choose to use either TOTP or HOTP for your uh, algorithm for the codes being generated for your authenticators. And then here you can see that the premium version options are listed at the bottom. And there are quite a few that you can grow with this particular plugin. So if you go to the settings under, and then click on two-factor authentication here, these are the admin settings for the plugin. And it's very much the same as the setting up the individual user. You can look at it here. But these apply to everyone who are users on the installation of your WordPress site. So here's how I ranked these four plugins based on features. So the last criteria for um, judging and comparing these four different 2FA plugins to decide which one's the best is to like, take a look at the security effectiveness. And this is more kind of an opinion because all of these plugins do provide two-factor authentication. And they do it using uh, either TOTP, which is time-based one-time passwords, or hash-based one-time passwords, or HOTP. And these options on all these plugins can secure an account. Now, there are features in them that may lend to it them not being more secure. Uh, for example, the two-factor authentication plugin for um, the one that was made by the authors from Updraft Plus, they don't make it compulsory unless you buy the premium version. So it's kind of an option to use 2FA there. There's also the options on some of these where they let you authenticate over email. And email itself could be a weak point in security as they, that could be penetrated already as well. So if you're getting a code to, to get in and your email has been exploited already, then that's just another gateway to gain access to your site. So if we look at the feature set for um, the mini orange one, we're gonna start with that one. We realize that they have the most. And um, if you look at the company itself, they've been doing this for, for quite a while. And that is what they specialize in, which is login security. So their features and their options, especially if you go into premium for the hardware token to make this a multi-factor authentication, it's pretty impressive for this particular plugin. So let's take a look at WP2FA. And um, I wanted to look at this one second as it also had a ton of features, especially if you go into the premium version. Um, they also had um, different ways to, to authenticate and they allow you to use an email. To me, uh, again, not using or allowing users to choose the email address they can, they can wanna use because they may not always be secure. That may be an option you just want to skip, but there's an option there for using it. They do provide the, the backup codes, and um, just like the others, they can set up uh, exclusions and grace periods, and they also have a, a wizard for setup. But you know, um, in terms of the security effect effectiveness of this particular plugin, I would say, again, this is just fine if you want to use it for 2FA and you concentrate on using it for 2FA 
then it should work fine for that. The big difference here, there are some features which may not be available unless you go to their their premium version. And here you can see, like on the list here, you can add trusted devices and uh, one-click 2FA logins. These things make it easier to use, so people will would rather uh, not skip it. They would rather use a 2FA because they know it helps to add security to the login for the WordPress site. If we look at WordFence, now WordFence is a uh, plugin, again, which has just a, a few of the features from the, the main plugin for WordFence security. But the nice thing is that it is very, very focused on using two-factor authentication and protecting your login. And to me, this is one of the more effective um, two-factor authentication logins because it covers all the bases in terms of uh, protecting you, not only from uh, brute force, which all of these do, but it also adds uh, captcha, so you can take a, you can take a closer look and see how your your logins are being affected or other parts of your website are being effect, affected. You can set up the XML RPC protection. You can set up specific IP addresses, and this is all with a free plugin. So, you know these these options within WordFence make it a valuable uh, free plugin. If you want to implement two-factor authentication and uh, be serious about it for your WordPress site. And the final plugin that we're looking at today is the two-factor authentication plugin from the authors of Updraft Plus. And they basically are kind of relying on their reputation as being uh, purveyors of a great plugin for backups. And you know the, the options that they, they provide for two-factor authentication, it's pretty basic. So um, they don't have all the bells and whistles that you'll see in the other plugins, but they do still use like the others, TOTP and HOTP. They do also support XML RPC. And if you upgrade to the premium version, which this is one of the, the uh, lower cost premium versions, they do have the options for two-factor authentication to become compulsory and provide uh, trusted devices. So. Again, this to me is still one of those plugins which makes 2FA optional, not required or mandatory. So it's not as effective in terms of enforcing it to make sure that your WordPress site is secure. And here are the rankings based on security effectiveness for the four plugins that we're reviewing. Thanks again for watching this comparison tutorial on these four two-factor authentication plugins. If you have any comments, please leave them below and also subscribe to our channel for future content. Thanks again for listening. We appreciate it. Have a great day. Check out our InMotion Hosting Support Center for help with your website. We provide thousands of step-by-step -step guides, videos, and much more to lead you towards making your online project a successful one. You can find us at www.inmotionhosting.com support.